So, Elimination Chamber is passed. We're heading very close into WrestleMania 30, you know, the biggest event of the year, um, 30th anniversary, so it's meant to be, you know, a grand show. We have Hulk Hogan hosting, which is a big deal. It should be really cool for that. But, of course, the problem has arisen of Batista getting booed by fans and then Orton just being the most boring heel that's ever existed. So, they have been giving Batista, like, heel promos. So, they were thinking, you know, let's put Daniel Bryan in the triple threat match. I mean, that's the speculation. But, isn't Daniel Bryan going be, gonna to be in a match with Triple H? If so... Who is going to fill in that spot? Punk is gone. I mean, there's just... It just... There's no one I can really think of. How amazing would it be if Cesaro went in? Yes. No. Is that possible? No. So, I'm thinking it's going to be someone very underdogish. I don't know how they're going to do this. It's, it's, I'm really honestly nervous that the main event's just going to be unorganized and no one's going to have any idea who to cheer for, but I'm hoping this doesn't happen. Also very worried about, I mean, not worried, this could be good, but it looks like the WrestleMania card is going to rely a lot on, like, tag team breakups. So, PTP broke up, but we still have the Real Americans, which look like they're going to break up, Cody Rhodes and Gold Dust, which are probably going to break up, and then, and then, then, then we have definitely not the Usos, but possibly Billy Gunn versus Road Dog. I mean, is this WrestleMania card going to end up being the kind of card that's just that's just going to be, like, one-on-one -on -one breakup matches? Because, I mean, those are great to see, like, friendships being ruined. But we're hoping we can see a little bit more than that. So, guys, leave your comments, questions, you know, to discuss this question. Uh, please subscribe for Moa. I'm sorry. So sorry, Grim. Uh... <laughs> But uh, thanks, guys. Bye.